I'm confused. Why exactly are Elemental releasing features that probably most people are not actually asking for? Today, we're going to take a look at a new experimental feature that's still in the alpha phases. But let me just show you what it is, and we'll have a talk about it towards the end of the video. Let's take a look. Okay, so it is the notes experiment in Elemental. So you're going to need to have the developer's edition of Elemental installed, and this allows you to test out various different features. So to enable this, you simply go into the Elemental Dev Edition, go into Settings, and inside there, you're going to have a new tab, or you're going to have a tab inside there for Experiments. And this allows you to test out the different experimental features, whether they're in Alpha, Beta, those kinds of things. So if we scroll through, you'll see there's a feature called Notes, and by default, this is set to default. So I've activated this just to make sure that it's all working. And you can see status is currently in alpha. So once we have this activated, there's a couple of ways you can access it. So let's first of all go and take a look at the front end of the site. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. We're going to go to, which is just basically a template kind of page. And you can see we get a new entry up in the top bar called Notes. We can click to open that up, and we now get a Notes panel. And you can see I've already done a test note on here. If I click on it, you'll see the note will pop up. Now, if you're familiar with some other tools that allow you to do this kind of thing, it allows for two-way or multi-way interaction between admins on the website and potentially admins that you set up for users so they can take a look and add new notes on there. And you can kind of get feedback and things. So let's say, for example, we think this button is not particularly the way we want it to look. We can click. And you can see now we can give a note and we can add a mention inside there. So we could say change button shape and color. There we go. We'll say leave a note. Once we do that, you can see that note's been added. If we take a look on the left-hand side, our little floating notes panel, you can see that our notes are now showing up. Now, you'll notice the difference. This one is like a darker blue, whereas this one is a more pale blue and the little sort of teardrop kind of thing. That just denotes the fact that this has been marked as being completed. And you'll see if we select this one, we can go over and we can sort of take a look at who posted this. We can see who's seen it. You can see we can confirm it or resolve it. And we can also go ahead and mark it as unread, edit it, copy the link, and so on. So by its very nature, this could technically be relatively useful. It's very similar to some other tools that I've taken a look at. I'm not going to name them at the moment because I don't think I need to, but I'm sure you can kind of see where this is coming from. So this is kind of the front end way in which you can access this. Now, if you are an admin, for example, and you have access to the dashboard and you want to see to make these changes, you know, to update everything, you can simply come into your all pages. And if we open up this particular page and we'll edit this with Elemental, so this is basically the back end version of it. And it's a little bit different, basically, because this is like the test environment and it's dynamic content setup. That's why it's in the background image here and you're not seeing it in the front end of the site. But you can see those notes are not actually currently visible. So we have no way of access accessing those directly on screen right now. So what we need to do is simply come into the hamburger menu in the top and you'll see we've got a new section called notes. If we click to open that up, you can see that now kind of puts us into a preview mode and shows us the notes doesn't actually show anything on screen though. So you can see we can click on these, but nothing is actually displaying. We can click to add a note inside here. So you kind of have a separation between the front end and the back end. So if, to be honest, I think that's a little bit weird. I would much rather see a case that, you know, you see it on both of these. And maybe this is just because of the way things are set up for me. It is still on alpha, so I understand that. And again, you see we can leave another note now. So you can say change background image, for example. Once you've done that, we leave a note. And you can see our note appears and also appears in our little floating panel. So you can see we can kind of switch between these different notes, but can't see anything inside here, but we can see the ones we create in the back end. So we've got a couple of other options inside here. You can see we can take a look at the current page, all site, all notes, only your show resolve, show unread only. So we can say all site, for example, so that'll show us now all of the different notes. And we can see only yours. So we can say, you know, it's up to you. You want to sort of configure these kinds of things. And it's relatively minimal what you have inside you right now. We could do with some sort of color coordination. You, know, you can see immediately see what's been rectified. You might want to see some other information. I'm not going to look too much into detail about the technical side of things. But let's just quickly go over my initial thoughts and take a look at the general feedback or the sort of two sides of the feedback we're kind of getting over on Facebook. You can see this is the 
post that I saw earlier on. And as you can see, there's quite a few different replies on there. Now, some people are coming back and saying this is a great feature. And other ones are coming back and saying, what's the point? And I'm kind of in that second camp. Now, I can kind of see where Elementor are going with this. They want to make it a platform that basically allows creators, designers, you know, sort of clients and things to have that kind of feedback. But I've already got tools that allow me to do that. I don't really want my page builder to, to, to do that. I don't see the need for it. I can, I can I tell a lie. I can see the need for a tool like it. I just don't think we need it inside our page builder personally. You might be of a different opinion. And again, you know, please do let me know in the comment section. I really do always appreciate your opinions, your sort of understanding of how these things work and your use cases. So you can sort of tell me, actually, Paul, I think this is really good. But my biggest kind of gripe with this is I don't understand how Elementor prioritize features. There are tons of experimental features that are still experimental and still don't work correctly. So it would just be nice if Elementor kind of buckled down, fixed the bugs that people are complaining about. And there are plenty of bugs. You've got to take a look on the GitHub to see the number of bugs that have been reported and how long some of these bugs have been out there with people asking for these to be corrected and sorted out. So wouldn't it make sense to prioritize fixing things that don't work properly, that haven't worked properly for quite some time? Stop implementing features that I can't imagine many people have said, do you know what we need inside Elementor? We need a notes option. We need to be able to leave notes to our clients and our clients leave notes to us on our designs. I'm pretty sure that more people would be interested in having some of the features that they want included. Things like, keep saying it, the loop builder, conditional logic, those kinds of things, things that are important. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. As always, please do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. My name is Paul C, Mr. WP Tets, and until next time, take care.